Good afternoon. Today is Tuesday, February the 2nd, 2021, and this is the devotion for First Presbyterian Church. My name is Renee Lovell. Today is two important occasions. The first one is, it's my birthday. The second one is, it is Groundhog's Day. How many times have I been called a groundhog all my life? Quite a few. Where, where do you go to look to find out what the weather for the day is going to be? Do you watch the Weather Channel? Do you check a weather app on your phone? Or do you chase down a tiny little brown furry animal to see what he has to say? Groundhog Day is really a national holiday. Or I should say it is a funny holiday, not national. All across the country, people wait to see this cute little groundhog come out of this hole just to find out if he can see his shadow. The tradition says if he sees his shadow, that we will have six more weeks of bad winter. But if he doesn't see it, we can expect an early spring. Now out here in Arizona, he's pretty much likely not gonna see his shadow. So we're gonna have good weather all the time, right? But little Phil, as he's known, is comes out in Pennsylvania. So uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, little Philly the groundhog, more than likely will see his shadow. So the east can expect six more weeks of bad winter weather. Sounds a little silly, doesn't it? Do you think a groundhog can really predict the weather? Of course not. It's just a fun tradition and an excuse for people to celebrate. But if you really want to know what the weather's going to be like, you can check with the experts. Weather forecasters have all kinds of scientific instruments and computers to help them know if it's going to be hot or cold, wet or dry, windy or calm, or something in between. Can you imagine what would happen if we relied on the groundhog instead? We show up for school on a warm spring day wearing a toe bag and gloves, or we would end up in shorts and flip flops while there was snow on the ground. Of course, no one really thinks a groundhog can predict the weather. No one decides how they're going to dress or when they'll go outside based on what the groundhog says. When it comes to weather decisions, we listen to the experts. But what about other decisions, bigger decisions? Who do you listen to when you have to choose between right or wrong? Sometimes we listen to our friends, even when they're making a bad choice. Other times we listen to our own self, even when we know it's going to get us into trouble. We even listen to people on TV shows and movies and try to do things that we see them do. All that is about as silly as relying on the groundhog to tell us the weather. The Bible says there's only one expert to go to when we need to make a wise choice. God. In Jesus 1.5 it says, If any of you need wisdom, you should ask God for it and he will give it to you. God is the ultimate expert on life. He knows everything and he can help you figure out any problem you may face. He is there for you always and he always wants to help. Just ask him and he will show you what to do. Is there any tough decision you need help with today? Anything hard or scary you're facing? Talk to God about it right now and take some time to listen and see what he has to say. Let us pray. God, you're so smart. You are the expert on life. Please help me know what you want me to do when life gets tricky. Help me to make wise choices. I'm listening, God. Amen.